Sergeant, I am leaving this to ask you if you so ask if you would you wouldn't want to change lockers with me. You are aware that Sumbri and I are not getting along anymore, as we tend to cross paths during changing of the guard, and as he's the only and as he's only two lockers away from me, he never stops provoking me, and I'm worried at that it may end badly one day. You would also be next to Bell, who you said last week you wanted to keep a closer eye on things in advance of the stick. This door is solid. The lock is rather ancient, and each locker has a different lock. If I want to open one in particular, the chance of finding a key within a reasonable amount of time is almost null. I will have to use force. Blow up the lock, perhaps? Bullets! This door is solid. Bullets. This door is. I want to use the bullets. Items. Nice, interesting noise. I want to blow up the bullets. 3 a.m. Lot Hardcore. March Lodwick. Why do I need to look at this? Huh? What? Oh, I see. You want me to change? Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. All it right. must be the guards' cloakroom. It's typical Scottish material. There's a kilt inside this locker. Alright, so he's gotta be the... Scotsman. Oh, meanwhile... Man, first dates are awkward. <clears throat> uh, I've seen this before. Well, look... Enough listen. What? I hear it. Yeah, well, I've seen this part. It's true. It's Luke. What? What are you... It, you ought to congratulate. Come, gentlemen. Come. Okay. All right now. This door is solid. The, this door is. This door is solid. Okay, it's got to be more clues around here I can use. So then they'll tell me whose is whose. Hmm. Green paint. What? Why is there green paint on the door? I mean, I understand that it belongs to the other guy, but why is it even there? And if it's on his nail, that means it's fresh. I mean, what was he doing? Was he trying to finger paint his door and just, like, lost interest, like, almost as soon as he started? What happened there? I mean, really... It, no, no. Not that. I mean, really, why would he have that? Why would it even be there? Where did he get the paint? Uh, there's gotta be some more clues around here somewhere. Oh, here we go. There is a stool here, possibly for helping the owner of this locker to reach the high parts. Okay, so that belongs to the short dude. And why they have a midget on the team, I don't know. I mean, how are you supposed to guard something where you can just be kick-booted out of the way? I don't get it. Okay, is there anything else here that I can use for... Oh, sound something. A hair. This is, without a doubt, a freshly combed moustache hair. My moustache! Okay, and that's got to belong to Mr. Schick. Which I still say is a really dumb cameo idea. It's not really a cameo either, it's more of a reference. Oh, well, moving on. Okay, let's see... Here we go. Okay, I'm not even going to pretend to lie to you and say that I did this puzzle even remotely on my own. I just followed the walkthrough. If for some reason, though, you do want to try this on your own, you're going to need three pieces of information. You're going to need... The first one you're going to need is the letter that you find in the dormitories, that ridiculously long and pointless letter that you find in the dormitories. That one will tell you, uh, not where anyone's placed, but it will tell you what time slots everybody's in. If you're good and you look through it, you can figure out where it is. So, obviously, the other piece of information you're going to need is the time slots, which you found on the bulletin board. And the final thing is the piece of paper that was jammed in the door. But I just use a walkthrough and cheat it, I'm tired of this. Okay, now we need to blow up Johnson's locker, which is locker number seven. This door is solid. The lock. All right, so apparently I'm still not. I, 
I can't just empty out the cartridges and put them in the, uh, in the what's it. I go back to the cook's room. Which is. I forget. This is the storeroom. Private lodging, that's right. Open! Open! I'm taking whatever might be. I'm taking whatever might be. I'm just taking whatever might be useful and whatever looks funny. Now, is that. Let's try. Okay, that works. Now I have a thing of shredded coconut that I can't put in another tin. Um, that helps me. Okay, um. Let's double check and make sure I'm not missing anything so I don't have to come back here again. Uh, revisiting seems to be what I'm doing this episode. Uh, this up. may prove to be useful. What is it? A waxed doily. That's certainly useful. Uh, it's back to back back to the barracks. Cloak room. Open. O open. There we go. Okay, so let's this door is. All right, so let's try. Uh, combine? Maybe combine. Um... No... No. Okay. Uh... I'm lost. Okay, so remember how I said we should check over and make sure we don't forget anything? That was a good idea. I think we should have gone with that. I don't know why we didn't. Uh, string. Okay, now riddle me this. How do I combine string with gunpowder and make a bomb? That doesn't even look like a bomb. It looks like Charlie Brown's Christmas tree. Back to the cloak room again. Use Charlie Brown's Christmas tree to open the door. enough gunpowder to blast open one locker. I must be sure of which one. You could have said that before I put it in the lock. Yeah, we want to stand real close and watch this. Oh my god, the shrapnel! My spleen is across the room! This haggis is fresh and supple. Ew. Perhaps it is meant for the cook in order to prepare a special dish. Not appetizing, but I'm taking it regardless. Why? This must be the key to the storeroom. Why, of all things, would you take a haggis? I mean, why? Because it smells funny? For the love of God, why would you take a haggis? I mean, really? Closed. Key. Here we are again. Smith looks to be unconscious. Is there a chance of waking him up? Poke him with a stick? The lock of the grill has been changed, and I can no longer open it. Maybe I can find... Oh, hey. Water. Smith looks to be unconscious. What's the lock of the grill. The lock of the grill has been changed. Splash him with the water. That's it. That's it. He fell asleep quite gradually, probably under the effect of a strong narcotic. The prints on the ground in front of the storeroom made me think that Smith was knocked out and not drugged. Thus, only a bit of cold water was necessary to awaken him. Why did you feel the need to explain that? Just splash him. Smith, wake up. Do you hear me, Smith? It's Holmes. You can take your time, Smith. We're only losing the crown jewels. My head. What's going on? What am I doing here? Mr. Holmes? Where is the doctor? In the TARDIS? Listen, Smith. Pull yourselves together and come here. Can you open this grill? My keychain has disappeared. Just vanished. No, I can't open it. After you came through the other day... Pause. The cook insisted on changing the lock. Pause. It now needs a key. I noticed. Fine. In that case, I'll need your help. We'll need to find a way to get you out of there. Foremost, you must precisely recount the events of the night. And who is the doctor you speak of? He is a force of well, nature. The oncoming the storm! The few men who were still present in the rampart were taken sick with awful stomach aches. All right. Must have been something in yesterday's meal. I don't digest tomatoes well, so I didn't eat. And I felt fine. Our usual doctor was absent, so I had to call a doctor in the area, Dr. Senin. He hasn't been around for long, 
but I've heard good things about This guy seemed legit. In examining the first man, he appeared alarmed and insisted on treating them with injections. <laughs> he checked on all of the guards and he treated them all. The last to be treated was Hickman. The doctor was vexed as he didn't have enough medication to administer a full dose, but he assured me it would be enough. Afterwards, he asked if we had seen all of the men in the garrison, which was affirmative. He asked me to accompany him to the postern. All right. And I had hardly turned when I felt a sharp pain at the base of my head. Do you know chop? I don't remember anything else. And that's the way it was. L U P I N. I am beginning to see. What medication did he administer? I really don't know. An empty vial fell into a puddle, and I picked it up. The label is damaged, and the water would have washed out any remaining substance. Impossible to tell what it held. But what are you doing here? Can you explain what's going on? Lupin. I assume that the guards who are watching the crown jewels were also attended to. Yes, and the only key leading to that room is on my chain. Well, I must help you, you out of here. Is there another key to this grill? The cook has one. But he's out. Is the However, cook ever I think in? I had a spare key to the guardroom maid, and it wasn't on my chain. You might just find something there that will get me out of here, or capture the person responsible for all of this. All right. So, off to the weapons room then. I believe it's near the bloody tower. Bloody towers. Right. Actually, it's probably easier for me to just start at the barracks and then work my way forward. This place gets confusing after a while. Alright, there's the weapons room. Onward and upward. Lupin's probably stolen half the jewels in the crown by now. God, what is the problem with going upstairs now? Closed. Key, 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 key. All right, now we can become well armed. Probably use the. I was gonna say I could probably use a pole weapon to cut the rope, but that would be intelligent. This collection of weapons is impressive. Now, what am I after? Perhaps I'd be able to find something. Something useful in the case. Fucker! Just use the goddamn pole arms! Cut the rope! A small navy cannon in perfect condition. Oh my god. I bet the wheels are in the chest. Oh! I can finally go in this room! That's cool. There's a carpenter in there. It's the door of the Queen's Jewel House, and it is quite solid. Was that the sound of a sword from behind the door? Lupin could be finished with his work any moment. I must make haste. If you could open the door. Oh, look, another guard. Look, this warder must have lost this key in falling. What could it be for? Maybe the case. For some unknown reason. This may prove to be useful. But what did I pick up? This may prove to be useful. And a file? A screwdriver and a file. Well, those aren't useful, but I don't see how they help me. Something else. This dish is empty, but might work. For what? This liquid has a strong smell. Certainly a petrol derivative to lubricate or clean metal. There isn't much left, just enough to moisten a rag. Like a doily. Alright. Now I need pieces of dry wood. Small dry pieces of wood. For some god on a reason. Go back to cannon. The interior diameter of this cannon is approximately two and a half inches. Glad I didn't have to measure that. Now for some reason I should jump to the back to the storeroom. I'm just going straight off the guide at this point. Call bullshit if you want. I'm tired of this game and I want it over. Get me out of here, ho- Uh... File, I guess. 